Yo, what's up? It's your boy Carcino once again. And we got to talk about Martin Scarelli, y'all. We got to talk about the man that want to be known. <laughs> Martin Scarelli, this guy is, is nuts. This is the pharmaceutical executive who got rich off of pharmaceutical drugs and the AIDS medication that he owns the right to. He became famous by up, you know, raising the price to a record level. And he charged the people for the AIDS virus, I mean, for the AIDS vaccine by raising the price. He loves the camera in front of him. He wants to be famous. He was recently incarcerated over some other things and, you know, and basically he's still awaiting trial there. He's out on bail. So for some reason, he chooses to do these events to bring his name into the spotlight and want to go out to people like DJ Academics. He called out and threatened DJ Academics. It is the dumbest thing I've ever seen someone do in a long time for someone who supposedly is smart and a multi-millionaire it's like what does this even make sense he goes in there and says oh because i might go to jail because i'm out on bail and if i touch you you know you'll go to jail i mean i'll go to jail for hitting or beating on you but i would have slapped you in your face and all this stuff and then he talks about how he has vast friends around the galaxy <laughs> So I'm like, this guy is stupid, and he's like, I'm not responsible for what they might do to you, but we know where you live. We know where you rest your head. If this, if DJ Academic stumps his toe on a curb and yells, ow, they could bring you in. They could revoke your bail. You just made a cyber threat, cyber bullying threat on the internet. All he have to do is flag you. And say this is a cyber bully tactic. He hurt me. And that's it. It is done. It doesn't even make sense. It's not even worth it. So like what is the point of you battling DJ Academics? Well, I mean, what is that? He's trying to destroy your good name? What good name do you have? You have people want to choke you for raising the price on AIDS medication. What good name do you have? <laughs> it's another multimillionaire who wants his name in the spotlight. I will give you a reenactment of what transpired when he made that video. In case you didn't hear, hear it, is this is not verbatim. This is a, an example of basically how it was sounded and <laughs> where it was coming from. Here it is, my reenactment of Martin Scarell and his rant he put out on DJ Academic. Dear Mr. Academic, I regret making this video in a public setting. I also regret sounding like Stephen Hawkins talking through that robotic box. Your attempt to besmirge my outstanding accomplishment and good name has not gone unnoticed. Your aggressive urban behavior and it did not find it humorous one bit. Let me remind you of some facts. I'm 34 years old, means I can legally download porn without any interference by law authorities. Second, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. You may not have heard of this province even though we have an NBA basketball team that plays like a junior varsity team, but that's beside the point. Finally, I have immense power and wealth. Though, I can't seem to find anyone to clean my filthy room right now. I have associates, my goonies, Corey Feldman, aka Mouth, and my homeboy Chunk, even Data with all his crazy innovative inventions whom in which I play very well, but I cannot control them. They're very protective over me, mainly because all of my rich friends abandoned me because of my poor choice of music. I still think Silk the Shocker, charge it to the game, will surpass Thriller one day. Yes, I've made some 
vast purchases of music material that will be worth billions one day, such as Lil Wayne the Carter 5, which some say won't be worth a Bitcoin once it is released, but I disagree. I think it's a great achievement in music, and the public is going to be wrong. When it comes out, the whole world will buy it. And the first three letters of my name, M-A-R, Mar, is short for March. That's what I'm going to do. When I get out of jail, um, 30 days in March, I'll get up and I'm going to march down on DJ Academics. Once I beat this case. That's what the M-A-R is for. March. My, my favorite Martian is my favorite Martin. And I'm going to march all the way down there and teach you a lesson. Because you don't know me. But I've seen things. From what I heard, you've never been to jail. And that's not a place you should want to go. Just letting it be noted. He's never been to jail. And I'm going to leave this and say, that's it. <laughs> that's all. Oh, God. <laughs> that's basically what he, <laughs> what he was saying. <laughs> Through the entire whole rant, it sounded about as stupid as that. And I'm like, you sit up here and have... No friends. <laughs> you in that dirty, filthy looking room talking trash. I mean, give me the, the plate, the champagne, the suit, the chick in the back pouring your glass. Where's your diamonds, rings? Where's your gold cups? Where's something? You look like you finna do some coding. I've been up 12 hours straight doing code. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm telling you. I don't know what's wrong with people today. It's this modern technology world where people just want to be famous for some reason. I'm like, dude, you're a multi-millionaire. You, you shouldn't want anybody to know you right now. I'll be like, dude, don't know me. I don't need anybody to know me. You should be somewhere spending. But instead, you want to do dumb stuff. I don't know. But you just helped DJ Academic out. He was already doing good. You just helped him get more subscribers. So way to go, Academic. I'm out.